Hey guys, I'm here with a reduce the crazy tip. Um, the last two weeks for me have been crazy because it's the end of a school year. So any parent knows there's a lot of stuff going on at school for the kids. Um, this is also a busy season in my kitchen. So just a lot of hats to juggle. This is also um, the season for all the 5Ks, 10Ks for every cause. Um, it's been raining, it's been all kinds of stuff. It's also when your family gets sick. So I'm just going to share my schedule um, with you guys and just one tip on how I try to manage and get everything done. Um, last weekend from Saturday, and, and mind you, I'm doing a ton of stuff during the week too, but the weekend where we usually think we're supposed to relax and have some downtime, this is what I'm doing. Last week, Saturday, I did a 5K for Girls on the Run. Afterwards, I went to my cousin's 50th birthday party. After that, I met with my uh, mentee and taught a one-on-one -on -one cake decorating class. The next morning, I got up. Um, I think I streamed church and then went to my cousin's 40th birthday celebration. Uh, followed by the normal stuff like grocery shopping and everything else that I was supposed to do all weekend. This weekend, very similar, except we start on Friday with work. We had no delivery drivers. I run a, deliver a gourmet gift delivery service, so I had to also do some deliveries. Uh, my son had a track meet. He and his cousin were running, so I took his cousin home, hung out with my family over there, got home late, um... Got up the next morning, went to work because I had a new employee that I was training, did more deliveries that day, met my sister out later that night for her bachelorette. Congratulations, little girl. Um, so we did dinner, then we went to the club. Then the next morning, which is Sunday morning, I got up, did a 5K, um, went house hunting, did a college presentation in downtown D.C. That was about two, three hours. Then we had to deal with food back home, washing my youngest daughter's hair, which is a all day job for real. And then finally, it's the end of the evening on a Sunday. Um, I get to do the stuff that I need to do for myself, investing some time in to reduce the crazy, the book, the video blog, all of that. Um, I get to do late and I'm also walking I'm in all kinds of walk challenges and everything else um, that I'm balancing so my tip is write out what you have to get done um, and try to manage your time if you know you got a two-hour window and you have a, something that you could do that takes about 40 minutes go ahead and get that in there because it's likely to take you over an hour and then you still have time to prep for your next thing um, so just try to use your time efficiently. That way when you actually do have time to relax, you're not there thinking about everything that you should have been doing when you had those small windows of opportunity. So that's my advice. Just write your list. Um, I use Google Calendar. I don't use it as effectively because I still like my pen and paper. So I have a little small um, yearly calendar in my purse and I write everything down when people tell me, oh, we have PTA or I'm the PTA president at my daughter's high school. So I also do a ton of events and people tell me on the fly, come to this, come out, meet the parents, whatever. And I'm at the high school. So I just write it down. It's easier for me, but choose what's going to work. Keep yourself organized and try to fit in things um, when you have time. So let's all try to find ways to reduce the crazy. Talk to you guys later.